Okay, let me get my candles over here and my greenery. Do I have everything? Oh, goodness. Goodness me, making a mess. Let's see. Oh, oh my book. Oh, 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 good morning. Sorry, you guys. I didn't see you there. I was so busy getting ready for this morning. I was trying to prepare all of the things that I was going to show you. And can you believe today is the first Sunday of Advent? I hardly feel prepared. Thanksgiving was wonderful and I, I, I've been practicing being grateful. But Christmas is coming up and I, I just don't know that I'm ready. So I thought together I could show you some ways that we can start preparing for Christmas. You know, that's what Advent means. It means the coming or the preparing. So we're getting ready to celebrate the birth of Jesus. And today is the first Sunday of that season. Now, usually on every Sunday of Advent, we light a candle on our Advent wreath. You might remember it's a circular wreath and it has four candles in it and one big one in the middle. Well, I don't have one of those at my house. I bet you don't either. And that's okay because what I've done is I've gathered some candles. They sure don't look like the ones at church, but they will work. So don't worry if yours look different too. And I'm going to put them together in a circle or it's going to look kind of like four corners. Just like this. See that? Now, it, again, it doesn't look like the wreath that, that I see at church, but this will work just fine. In fact, I even have, see, I brought my greenery over here, left over from Thanksgiving. It's actually a little crispy now, but that's okay. It'll work. To make it look more like a wreath, I'm going to put some greenery around these candles. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. And what we're going to do together, and what you can do at your house, is just like what we would do together at church on Sundays, if we were able to be together. We're going to light our Advent candles, okay? And that helps us prepare. It helps us recognize that Christmas is coming. So let's do that together. Ah. Can you see that? Mm, it already feels like the Holy Spirit is in this place. Now, I have one more way that we can prepare for Advent. I got activity booklets for us. I bet you like to color. I know I do. And what's awesome about these activity booklets is that there's a mystery picture. So today, the first one for Advent is today. Now, let me read you what it says for the first Sunday of Advent. As old Zechariah prayed in the temple, he was visited by a surprising messenger. Do not fear, Zechariah, I bring good news. Though you and your wife are old, you will have a baby. Your child will prepare the way for the coming of the Lord. Now, wait a minute. I don't remember any Zechariah in the Christmas story. So I wonder where this is going. Let me see again. Oh, you know what? It does say, your child will prepare the way for the coming of the Lord. Hmm. So Zechariah's child must help. Jesus come into the world. Wow, I'm going to come back every day. There's a, there's a picture every day in a reading, every day in Advent that you can read and color. And we'll have to find out how Zechariah's child helps prepare the way for Jesus. Now there's another mystery. It's in the picture. And what you do is you take a pencil or I'm gonna try with the crayon if I can find where I put it. Oh, here it is. Hold it on its side and rub over it. And it reveals a mystery picture. 
oh boy, I see what it is. I'm not gonna tell you though. You'll have to get your own booklet. And I'm gonna leave these booklets, if you haven't gotten one yet, I'm going to leave them in a basket outside of Miss Sydney's office. You can come pick one up anytime. Again, there's a secret picture every day in Advent that you can uncover. Well, boys and girls and friends, thank you so much for being here with me this morning. I think together we can get ready for Christmas. We can prepare. Next Sunday will be the second Sunday of Advent, and we'll light this candle again. We will also light another one. So if you don't have an Advent wreath at your house, look around for some candles and maybe you can create one. I might put a few more um, flowers and leaves around my candles so that it, it reminds me of the Advent wreaths I see here at church. And together, we will prepare for Christmas. Now, I can't play the guitar like Miss Carolyn, but I do know a song that we can sing together. And I know you know it too. And it has a sun in it. So, sing along with me and do the motions with me as we close out with this song. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, the name of the Lord shall be praised. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, the name of the Lord shall be praised. Now catch a bubble, let's hum it. great to see you again even if it is on television this morning boys and girls but know that on on Thanksgiving I was grateful for you and I love you all and I miss you all and I'm giving you all big air hugs see you next Sunday